Uh, so I was walking through the grocery store the other day and I saw some tuna. And I thought, you know what? Sashimi. bunch of cilantro with the stems, a clove of garlic, a knob of ginger peeled, chopped into little pieces. You're going to want a whole avocado, the zest and juice of one whole lime, a whole can of coconut milk, and the best way to open it is upside down. And about two tablespoons of fish sauce. Give it a blend until smooth. Once it's blended, strain it through a fine mesh strainer just to get out all those chunky bits. You're gonna wanna get this sauce into the fridge, cool down, and then continue on with the rest of the stuff. Now we're gonna make some garlic chips. Take your garlic, cut off the ends, slice it on the mandolin as thin as you can, but not too thin where you can see through it. You want them just thick enough. Put the garlic chips inside a pan of cold oil and slowly bring it up to heat. Once the garlic is a nice golden brown, remove it to a paper towel to blot dry. Next we're going to clean some cilantro and slice some radishes as thin as you possibly can. We're going to quarter down a lime. We're going to slice a Fresno chili as thin as possible and cut some wedges of an avocado. And now for that beautiful tuna. Look at that. Next we're going to slice the tuna, about six slices per dish. Make sure your knife is very sharp and only slice it once. Don't saw it back and forth. You want to start by folding over your tuna so it's got a little height on it. And then we're just going to layer on our garnishes on top with a little bit of our sauce finish it with some crunchy salt. All right, and that is it. We did it. Uh, we have the tuna sashimi uh, with our cilantro coconut sauce. There's a little bit of fish sauce in there for a little bit of Umami, it's got that saltiness, you got that creamy avocado, that crispy garlic. The garlic goes really well with this. Uh, don't try to leave that out if you're gonna make it. The radishes for an extra little bit of a crunch and a little bit of heat from those chilies. It's amazing. You gotta try it. I hope you enjoy it, and I'll see you guys next time. If you liked what you saw, give this video a like, comment, subscribe, and we'll catch you next time.